Ebon Major commented saying, can you do an in-depth video on ambient lighting for beginners using one light setup? And I was like, yeah, why not? So since he mentioned for beginners, I decided to shoot with an inexpensive equipment. I decided to shoot with a speed light, a 34 inch softbox, and a C-stand. The reason why I was using the C-stand because I wanted the light to be as close as possible to my subject. I'll show you in the video. So you can shoot with any camera, but if you're interested in the camera that I was using, I was using the Sony A7 III with the, the 85mm f1.4 G Master. When you're shooting outside, on location or in a studio, the first thing that you're supposed to do, you're supposed to set up your camera first. You're supposed to set up your exposure, your ISO and your shutter speed. Take a photo without the light, uh, like what I'm going to do here. Uh, let me just take a photo without the light. So I'll get like, like this one. So my shutter speed is at 1 over 800 and then I'm shooting at f1.4 and my ISO is at um, 125 so this is how I want my ambient my background to be I want my background to be moody so it's you to decide how bright you want your photos to be or how dark you want your photos to be so you can change how bright or how dark you want your background to be using the ISO the shutter speed and the aperture in my case I wanted the shallow depth of field so I had to set my aperture at f1.4 because I wanted the brightly background and then the reason why I didn't change the brightness or the darkness of uh, uh, of the background using the the ISO is because I wanted the camera sensitivity to light to be just in between 100 to 250 so I decided how bright I wanted my image or how dark I wanted my image to be using the shutter speed so the ISO the shutter speed and the aperture I think um, if you want me to do a video about this, you can just leave a comment below. I can't explain everything in just this same video. So if you want me to do a video about that, uh, just comment below. Now I'm going to, to add the flash. I'll start at the lowest, uh, at the lowest power output. Uh, my flash power output is at 1 over 128. So let me take a photo. This power. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, I can still see the power is not that much, so I'm going to add more power to the flash. Uh, 1 over 16, and then I'll take a photo. Okay. Okay. I still feel like the flash, uh, the light is not that much, so I'm going to add more light. Um, I'm going to go at 1 over 4. And then okay yeah so this is my sweet spot i think i can work with this okay keep the same one let me just do a full body okay uh, nice i love this Okay. Nice. Let me do a portrait. It showed some. Okay. okay. Okay, so the light is coming from this side. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So next setup, I'm going to ask you, my model, to sit down somewhere there. If you can sit there for me. Yeah, sit, sit, sit on top and then your legs should be somewhere here. And then your legs should be down there. Yeah, you can even, you can, you can even sit like that. It's fine. The same one is done. It's just, so I'm going to take I'm going to take my light as closer as possible to my model, just out of the frame, but as closer as possible. So I told you that I'll explain the reason why I was using the C-stand. 
So the reason why I was using the system for, for this shoot, because of the boom arm that I attached to my system, uh, since I was working alone, I didn't have an assistant to just help me out with the light because I wanted the, the light to be as closer to my subject as possible. The closer the light to your subject, the softer the light it becomes. Give me that. Nice. Okay, so make sure you give me your face. If you can pause that. Perfect. Yeah, just give me that same one. Just give me that same one. Nice. Okay, keep going, keep going. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. Just wow. You don't know. Oh, just wow. Let me just wow. Let me just see first. So with this session, we've uh, we've added some props. Uh, the flowers. Okay, so shooting from a different angle. Let's go back. You can even do that. Like yeah, <laughs> just put it closer to your face. Closer. A little bit closer. Okay, nice. Okay. Just do this one. Shoot it from here. Shoot from here. If you learned something from the video, please like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, uh, subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. So if you have any questions or if you want me to do a specific video just for you, um, uh, comment below, leave it in the comment, comment what you want me to do or just follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. You can just follow me, you can just DM me, tell me what you want me to do for you. Tell me. Uh, ask me about photography, videography, and retouching. I'll be able to do a video for you and see you in the next one. Peace.